Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is from the famous Cinti Studios. Their art style, you know it, you love it or hate it. It's a great set of tools, especially if you're even just looking to prototype. You can get a hell of a lot of content here for uh, a pretty reasonable price here. And we're going to jump in and take a look at what you are getting, how you get it, how you redeem it, and how it works and all of that. So as you can see, this one is organized into tiers, the highest dollar value tier, which is $30 US, you're getting 17 items. Or at the $1 tier, you're getting three items. So if you want to get an idea of what Cinti's like and if you can get it working with your system, this $1 tier could be a good pickup. Now you're going to notice the top corner what these assets are specifically for. So you can see this one is Unity and Unreal. This one is Unity only. But what you're going to find is Cinti assets can be exported to work in just about any game engine under the sun and often come with raw format. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here is one of the asset packs in action. This is the Unity version of the um, Kaiju uh, in action. I keep wanting to say Kaiju. Kaiju, I'm Kai. Kaiju, uh, much less annoying than Kaiju. Uh, so here you can see multiple different versions of Kaiju's in these neat little dioramas they've created. Now what you're going to notice here is the star of the show here is obviously the Kaiju's, uh, Kaiju's. And here you can see one of them exported out over to Blender. With animations, now it's the animations are literally just... Uh, opposing and so on but you're also going to notice that this pack comes with an animation kit as well so these came out straight out as fbx files i'll show you how that works in just a sec you can just import them in and then most of the time all you're going to be doing is setting up the texture so this guy right here uh, the character model over here, you can see it's Kaiju number three. What I do is I set a material override for it, and I just set the uh, albedo map and the emissive map, and you're going to see there's multiple different versions of each. So here is Kaiju number three, uh, and I think I'm using number two. So if I want, I could go switch over to number three map, we just drop that into there. And there you see different version of the Kaiju. So the cool thing about these maps is you get so many different versions to work with that you can create um, so many different combinations as a result, which is very cool. So when you're going to bring them into other engines, like I said, you can get these in just as raw FBX and import them into your engine of choice. Now I'm head back over to the Unity for a second. So this is one of the assets in Unity. Another one we brought in uh, is the low polygon sets. You're going to see some of them are called Simply, and I'll bring one of those in so you get an idea of what the Simplys look like. These are um, low polygon, lower polygon. Basically, uh, you can see right here, it's as minimalistic style as possible. So these are a variety of military assets, and they're using more or less as minimal polygon count as possible. Again, if the art style doesn't work for your game, it definitely doesn't work for your game. But this is really good uh, for prototyping on the level that everything here is uh, super lightweight, super easy to work with, and generally just a single texture map, often single texture map for the entire map, to be honest. So that is what one of the simples look like. They've also got some more advanced options. We're going to see two of those in action right now. This is the Speed Racer level. Uh, this is opened up in... Um, Unreal Engine, so you can see a variety of different cars being used here, uh, but everything you need to make it this track and this environment. I do like their art style. I know you're going to kind of get into that um, is my game an asset flip vibe there, but you can also make this work for you. And, and a lot of it basically comes down to, is your game fun? If your game is fun, people aren't going to overly care. Um, and the nice thing with the Cinti stuff is they have packs for literally everything. They've actually got a sale going on as well. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, but if you need other content from Cinti, I guarantee you they make a pack for it. Uh, if you need uh, feudal Japanese, they've got it. If you need uh, modern vegetables, no doubt they've got it. So this is one of the maps you can see. Uh, this is for the Speed Racer setup. This, by the way, is available uh, for Unity as well. And if you want to get the full maps out, you can actually export these things out from um, Unreal or Unity to other game engines such as Godot. I'll have a variety of guides linked down below if you want to see how to do that. This one here, this is a casino with a little money vault uh, and so on. Uh, and then you got all of your slots and so on. Uh, and we go outside. You're going to see just how elaborate this map is. So it's not just a casino. It's Vegas. So these things are staggering with just how much you actually get in these packs. I am blown away by like how comprehensive these are. So if you want to make a Vegas game, here we got your chapel for getting married, including the, the bribe over there. And was that a hot dog? That might have been a hot dog. Yes, and a hot dog. That's... That's a choice. Okay. Uh, so again, you see huge environments here. So it's not just the casino environments, but the casino environments also, again, 
are pretty comprehensive in the amount that they've got going on. I don't think this hotel has anything inside of it. No, it doesn't. But it gives you an idea of just what you're getting when you deal with these Cinti packs. They're gigantic. The big ones, especially the things in like the the 100 to 200 dollar range, so the 150, the 100 over here, those are gigantic. As I mentioned earlier on, there's also an animation pack for applying animations to their various different characters. So a lot of the characters will be rigged, but not necessarily animated. So you can work together that way there. Uh, again, the Kaiju, we saw that the Kaiju, we saw that in action in um, the uh, Unity game engine. But as you saw, you can get this in raw format, uh, and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, then again, here we got a number of different environments here. So arid desert, street racer, mechs. Uh, kaiju, uh, casinos, and then we got some of the horror carnival, and then we got some of the simpler stuff here, military, simple town, simple people, um, which is kind of, again, lower polygon count details. So it's sort of like two different bundles here. Also, there's a $10 off coupon for Cinti as well. So you redeem them on the Cinti store, you download them from the Cinti store. So you're not getting fab keys, and you're not getting um, the Unity Asset Store keys. They're all on Cinti store. Now, I'm going to go here, and then let's find the I don't know how to spell kaiju. So ah, there we go. So here is the kaiju pack as an example. And here's how the downloads work. So in the case of uh, Unity, it comes down as a Unity package that you just import into your game. In the case of uh, Unreal, it comes down as version specific. So 5.3.5.4.5.5 versions of Unreal Engine. Download the project directly, or you can grab the raw source files is what I used for the Godot engine. So you see back here, downloads... Um, that was Polygon Kaiju Sources. All right, here you see. So this is what the sources look like. So you get a folder of all the textures, including the alternate textures, which you get a ton of different alts, by the way, uh, some special effects areas. And then here is all the raw FBX of everything you see there. And then they're pretty easy to get up and going. And then the dioramas we saw are actually available here as well. The only challenge you're going to have is to get the, uh, you're going to have to recreate the textures a lot of times if you're using with different studios. But since our texturing format is super simple, generally uh, just um, an elbow and a, uh, a missive map, they're super fast to set them back up. So you do get the raw form. This enables you to use this with like the default game engine, with um, Flax, with Stride, you name it. Uh, it. Almost every game engine out there supports the FBX file format. So that's how they work. They're redeemed on the Cinti store. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier on, Cinti actually uh, have a sale going on. If we go back to the base here, you'll see they've got a 30% off sale. Uh, if, you, if you use my link down below, it does help support me, by the way. And if you use uh, the Humble link, it also supports me. So using any of my links, hey, you support me and I appreciate it. So you're going to see here, uh, by the way, you can get an all-you-can-eat pass of literally everything Cinti makes uh, at like a monthly rate. So if you want to have, if you're going all in on this style, it's actually a pretty neat option. Uh, and then you're going to see over here in terms of the Polygon series, I said they have something for everything. Here's what we've got. So literally you have packs for every biome or genre you can think of. Again, this is one of the ones we are getting today. So you can see it, it is a legit, even with the sale. So this one we are getting today and this one we are getting today uh, are included. But uh, yeah, so if you like the art style, this one is an absolute no brainer to pick up regardless to which game engine you use. Uh, once again, if you want to get those full levels or pre-configured textures out and you're willing to jump through a little bit of hoops, you could actually load up the Unreal Engine version and then export it out to your engine of choice. Again, a number of guys are down below that will walk you through doing that. Uh, and if you are interested, I uh, want to pick up other stuff from Cinti. Cinti do have a 30% off site-wide sale going on until October the 10th. So you got a couple of weeks to pick that one up. So if you like what what you see here, do you want to get a little bit more or you want to fill in the cracks of whatever you've already got? Cinti makes models for literally everything all in the same two styles. So like they've got the low polygon and the lower polygon, I guess you could say. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.